8.4, problem number 15, page 565. We have a guy in a tower looking around, sees a fire. The fire has an angle de uh, depression, an angle of depression, right? Of 3.5 degrees, yeah. Are you just supposed to assume that the fire is 120 feet below the tower? That's what if it's on a hill. Who even knows? Are you just supposed to assume? Well, um, you're not assuming. You're on a, well, yeah, you're, you're on a horizontal plane. You're assuming that this is straight, that this is flat, because the earth is flat, right? No. But then you have to get into non-Euclidean geometry. It's a whole other type of geometry, right? But um, because the earth, the earth is so large, and this is such a short distance in comparison to how large the earth is. But what if there's a hill? Uh, then you won't see the fire. You stay, and if there was a hill right here, then you just have to add in that later. But as far as what, what they're asking for is what is the distance from the fire as the crow flies? That's what a lot of people say. If you just flew there instead of walking over the land, because the land is obviously going to be not level, right? So the land could add some time. And of course, the curve of the earth is going to actually add a little distance also. Correct? <laughs> So, we're not worrying about all that. We're saying if we flew over it and dropped something, how far is it? Right? Because the whole purpose here is to be able to do, uh, to find an estimate of the distance. So, what the, the biggest problem to this is, how are you going to use this 3.5 depression angle? How are you going to use that? Right? There's one of two things. One, do we know what this angle is? Sure we do, because this is 90, right? So it's 90 minus 3.5, right? So it'd be 86.5. Right? Do we know what this angle is? Sure we do, because Remember, parallel lines, right? This is a, a transversal, alternate interior, right? Are, are congruent, so this is 3.5 degrees, okay? So this uses all that stuff we, we learned all year long, right? So we know this, and we also know this one, right? This angle of elevation is actually 86.5 degrees, right? Because it's 90 degrees minus the 3.5. So we could use either one. We could go by, like you said, how the crow flies. We'll just put a nice black crow right here. And pretend that's like a flying bird. Whatever. Right? As the crow flies, how far away is the fire? Okay? And so, all we want to know is this distance. So how can we find this distance? Right? Somebody. Come on. We can do this. What, what are we going to use first? What math? Sotoa. It's so Katoa, yeah. So Katoa. Because it's a right angle, right? Okay. So right angle trig. We're going to use our so Katoa. We can use sine, cosine, or whatever. But what sides do we have? Do we know what the hypotenuse is? No. Do we care? No. 
Do we know how far the distance is? Do we care? Yes, that's what we're trying to find, right? <laughs> that's the whole point. So we kind of care. We, well, we do care about that one. So that's the one we don't know, but we, we'll have an X. So it's either here or here. It's, it's up to you which one you want to use, right? And so, um, but uh, do we know what the height is? 120. 120, right? And so it depends on which one we want to use. If we want to use this angle, right, then x becomes opposite. And where do we want our x? Do we want our variable on top or on bottom? Where? Top. Yeah, we always want that variable on top, right? So O on top, that's a good thing for so, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking using sine of 86.5 degrees is equal to opposite, which is x, over adjacent, oh no, hypotenuse, oh no, that's not going to work. I can't use sine. I have no idea. Oh, we could use the t, the tangent. The tangent is also of 86.5 degrees, is equal to the opposite, right? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Do we have the adjacent? So that's kind of important. You want to let, list that first. Adjacent. This is opposite, right? This is hypotenuse. We have, we have, we want this. We have this. We're looking for something with A and O in it. And bam! Then you can go right to it. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So how do I solve this? Multiply by 120. Right? Okay, so then I got my calculator out and I go 120 times tangent 86, oops, 86.5 equals 1961. Point nine eight, which means one thousand nine hundred sixty-two so feet. Far away. Feet. Yeah, kind of far. Well, thousand feet, right? Almost a couple thousand. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. All right. <laughs>